Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Ariana Grande Limited Edition Sweet Like Candy. So this perfume launched this year, 2017, and is the fourth addition to Ariana Grande's Fragrance Empire. So this one is a limited edition spin-off to last year's Sweet Like Candy. So the box looks like this, and it says Limited Edition Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. The official name for this is Ariana Grande Limited Edition Sweet Like Candy. I know I've seen uh, multiple different places it being uh, both ways, but um, according to the press release, Ariana Grande's website or Ariana Grande's uh, company and uh, Ulta, it is all um, Limited Edition Sweet Like Candy. So the box looks like this, and the W, the A, and the Y are, like, holographic this time. And so it says Sweet Like Candy, like, in these kind of, like, random letters. And it says Limited Edition Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer, 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounce. So this only, like Frankie last year, only comes out in a 1.7 ounce. So the side is got that Ariana Grande signature with the kiss on it. Um, and then the back has this photo of Ariana Grande. Which, I will tell you, my only issue with that is the fact that it is the exact same picture. Um, where they got this picture was actually from a promo shoot that she did for the um, Dangerous Woman album. So I don't know if you guys can tell that or not, but same picture. Um, so I don't know if that was intentional or if they decided to use that. Because I know that they did use same, some of the same photos from the photo shoot for... Uh, the original Sweet Like Candy. So, note, or, and then top just says limited edition Sweet Like Candy. A note for this fragrance, let me pull those up really quick, are, top notes are, uh, red berries, Italian bergamot, and pear. Middle notes are red fragapani, jasmine sandbox, and dewy honeysuckle, with base notes of central musk, liquid amber, creme de cases, marshmallow, and, uh, cashmere woods. So, the bottle looks like this this time, and it is a bright, almost fire engine red this time, and that same kind of matte finish that the other bottles were done in, or the Sweet Like Candy bottle was done in. Your poof's red this time, your cowl around, like, the, the base of the cap is actually, like, a matte red this time, and then your cap is silver, which I think is super cool, but when you pull this off, and mine somehow has extra liquid in it, um, the sprayer is still silver. So, looks like that. And, in comparison, if you box, box-wise, so, as I'm throwing things, the boxes are very similar. Um, they just changed coloring a little bit for the Sweet Like Candy one. Um, the limited edition one over here is a little bit more deeper tones of red and pink and stuff like that. Um, the sides are still exactly the same, except for the, um, uh, signature on this one's done in a black, and this one's done in, like, a silver chrome. Which is the same way that the letters are done. And then this is the ad that they decided to use for Sweet Like Candy. As I throw things. Holy Jesus. And this is the ad they use for Sweet Like Candy Limited Edition. So, there is that. So, before I get into this, I will tell you guys, it is a brand spanking new fragrance. It is not just Sweet Like Candy repackaged. This is a whole new fragrance and a brand new um, scent. I don't want people thinking that this is just limit, you know, a limited edition bottle of Sweet Like Candy because it's definitely not. So, when you first spray it, you get the marshmallow from the base kind of coming through, and but when you first spray it, you get those kind of red berries and a little bit of a floral note, but it's not super duper duper floral, and it's not super duper sweet. The way I kind of describe this one is a little bit more like rock candy. Um, versus Sweet Like Candy, which was kind of like sugared berries. So, that's kind of my, like, comparison. As it starts to dry down, though, you get a little bit of the pear and a little bit more of the bergamot from that top, but they, it's definitely the red berries that kind of give this fragrance what it is and make it different from, uh, Sweet Like Candy. So, 
Essence to Dry Down, that heart is very, very similar to that of Sweet Like Candy. So if you already have Sweet Like Candy, the heart is very, very similar. Um, kind of that general floral, just pretty heart. Um, the Red Cracker Panty probably stands out a little bit more this time than it did previously. But honestly, it is nothing really stands out too much more in the heart than Sweet Like Candy. Um, and that's the only thing that these two fragrances really share is that heart. As it starts to dry down, the liquid amber really kind of changes this fragrance. And I definitely feel like the marshmallow that's used in this fragrance is very, very, very different from that that was used in Sweet Like Candy. Um, definitely kind of gives you a creamy, vanilla-y kind of... I described this as like rock candy and vanilla. So I've actually had... Um, I just got my bottle today, but I've actually had like a little pin set, which is up on my shelf up there, um, for this fragrance for about a week now, a little over a week. And I've been wearing it and kind of testing it and whatnot. So I could give you guys kind of a better review on it. And in my personal opinion, if you, this fragrance right here, limited edition Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy, is if you were to take Sweet Like Candy and mash it up with Ari, this is kind of that middle ground. So I definitely feel like Ari, it kind of shares a similar marshmallow -y note and stuff that Ari has, but then shares kind of the fruitier notes that Sweet Like Candy has. So this is definitely kind of that g bridge of a gap in between the two fragrances, um, and it definitely kind of shows that it is in that family. Now the thing that's kind of a common misconception with Ariana Grande's fragrance line is the fact that uh, Sweet Like Candy is a flanker to Ari, and it's not. So Sweet Like Candy is a completely new pillar, kind of like fantasy to private show. Two completely different flankers. Um, they just happen to have the same bottle. Not that private show and fantasy have the same bottle, but that's not the point. What I'm trying to make the point of it is they are two completely different fragrances. So Sweet Like Candy Limited Edition is not a flanker to Ari, but it does kind of share some DNA to its like homeland, if you would call it that. So last time, you get about eight hours on this fragrance. It is it does get kind of on the weaker side though. I definitely feel like Sweet Like Candy is the better of the two. That's just my personal opinion. I really like the Blackberry that's in um, Sweet Like Candy. And the base is really kind of overpowered in this fragrance by that marshmallowy similarity to Ari. So you're getting really kind of a very fruity rock candy opening with a slightly floral girly heart with this kind of marshmallowy with these slight tinges of, like, similarities to Sweet Like Candy, but it's definitely, like, two completely different fragrances. I don't feel like you would smell one, but, like, yep, that's Sweet Like Candy, because it's definitely not Sweet Like Candy. Um, it is a whole new fragrance. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande, limited edition. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. New videos are coming soon. Um, I know I guys kind of spoiled you guys this week with um, a lot of videos in the past over week. So, um, not quite sure what exactly is coming, but more stuff will be coming. And excuse me for this video, I am sick. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm dying. And that's that. Also, I want to give a really quick shout out to the fact that you guys got me to 3,000 subscribers. 